I want to take a moment to address a very recent headline linking newborn circumcision, Tylenol use, and autism. This is a good example of an eye-catching claim that is not backed by sound scientific evidence. So for parents who may have made these decisions, it's important to remember this is not something to feel blame or guilt about. What is worth exploring further through high quality research is how early stressful experiences of any kind might influence brain and body development. These responses include rises in stress hormones like cortisol and norepinephrine, chemicals that act like the body's built-in alarm system. At the same time, the sympathetic nervous system which is often called the fight or flight system, kicks into gear. And when the system stays revved up for too long, it can take a toll. Even at the cellular level, stress changes how our mitochondria, the tiny power plants in our cells, work. They start producing extra energy for the short term, but like an engine running too hot, they also give off more exhaust and can cause more of what's called oxidative stress. And that's when unstable oxygen molecules, called free radicals, begin to build up and can damage cells over time. 